and I am back with a really quick video. Um, my dad actually sent me a really thoughtful package of some like art journaling, drawing, and sketching supplies, um, as well as an update on his um, comic. So I just want to show you the things he sent me. Um, my video, I have um, a really long video <clears throat> that my fiance, you know, spliced two together for me, but for some reason it like repeated the first one at the end again. So it looks like an hour and 40 minute video. So I'm trying to trim that in the YouTube editor. And yes, so I don't know if that will be up first or this one. So um, my dad, I read this ahead of time to make sure it wasn't like anything private, but here's a, just um, a sweet letter he sent me with um, in the package. Excuse me. So, um, my dad has always been into drawing, sketching, and, um, he initially went to school for building architecture, but got his degree in landscape architect architecture because he really liked horticulture. But I want to show you this really quick. Um, oops. Oh man, sorry. This is the bobcat from his comic. So my dad wrote it and then the artist, he, my dad did like kind of not simple sketches, but you know, sketches of kind of how he wanted it to be. And then Jim Mesling did all the art kind of, you know, took the reins and he did work on, he's done stuff with Rick and Morty, um, the walking dead, some a uh, couple Marvel things, but did artwork for them. So this is um, my dad's comic book is what he wrote. But these are some of the cards from the comic. So, and um, it is set. It, it it's pretty much about a lot of Cherokee and Native American mythology is kind of woven in to the story and there's a lot of like steampunk elements and things like that and it's set in Oklahoma territory I think in the very early like 1900s like 1900 to 1910 but it's called the Bobcat if you're interested in looking it up go ahead um my dad I guess I've said my name before it doesn't matter um, my dad's name is James Hostler so most of you know my last name from before so anyway that is what he's been doing this for about two or three years and um he actually got signed with a big publisher i can't even think of the name but anyway so yes um the third comic has already come out and i think the fourth one but anyway just wanted to show you that and then i had asked him where he got circle templates because i was looking online for just um these types of circle templates and I know there's probably I just couldn't find any just plain circle stencils templates anything like that and um, my dad was like oh you like drawing templates and I was like yeah that's that's what I wanted for my art journaling because I also want to do some drawing and circles are one thing I just can't do especially with my hands being shaky like they are so he he was like well do you have a um Triangle A and E there. Circle A and E, triangle A and E, triangle. I think that's what it's called. And I was like, no, never heard of that. And so that's where he gets all of his design materials in Oklahoma City. So he just sent me a surprise package that I got today. I didn't even know he was sending anything. And I texted him, thank you. But yes, so he sent me these two templates. And I'm very, very excited. I did really need them, and I really needed this. And it is a triangular ruler, but especially um, for when you're trying to rip something, draw something, or and um, or cut something with a straight line, you need a heavy ruler. And I did have one that had a ridge in the center you could hold on, but it split. So essentially, when you push down on it, it would just move. And it, I couldn't use it. Um, for its intended purpose. So anyway, this one looks like it goes to 18 inches. Um, it's really heavy. It's a heavyweight 
architecture ruler. So, very excited. Okay, Fairgate Rule Company. Architect. So we sent that. And I'll go through kind of by size. He sent these three things. These are triangle templates with um, different degree angle degrees. Awesome. I have one small one that I had gotten like in a dollar thing cheap, but um, I will probably pass that on to someone else starting out because they're useful, but I want to keep obviously the special ones from my dad. So he sent me these. And then the last two things he sent me are these. He sent me um, a pad of Strathmore drawing paper. that, And this is 24 sheets. I think this is a 6 by 8 Yeah, it's 6 by 8 inch. And it's really nice heavy paper. Super excited about that. I love this. And I love um, Strathmore is a really great brand. And then I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. I wouldn't even think that he would think about this or know that I would really want something like this. This is perfect for your art journaling and bullet journaling for doing small little tracings and stuff. And this is brackets on th this side. And obviously if you're drawing little short lines or if you're out and about and you have your small journal, you could um, take this with you. Obviously use this as an edge and do a whole lot of stuff with that. So that is everything he sent me as a surprise. I just got it today. And yes, I want to show you one more picture on the bottom. Let's see, let me move these and see if I can do it without bumping it this time. It's highly likely I will, but we'll see. Okay. So these are both double-sided, but I don't know if I can flip these over without messing something up. This is another poster of, I'll hold up, <laughs> something that's going on right now. So the bad guy is Dr. Aloysius, Aloysius, Aloysius. and I, re I remember that because my fiance's sister, her married name is Aloisi, which is so random, but anyway, that they're similar. Very cool. So the doctor uses a lot of like steampunk and, you know, electrical, mechanical, early mechanical techniques to do his bad guy things. <laughs> so there's the other side of that one. And this is Elijah Venables. I think he is kind of the good bad guy that kind of helps out, but he used to be, I, I can't remember, but it's very cool. So those are all of the posters, unless there's more. Nope. There's, there was two facing outward in each one of these. And I really like them. This is obviously the main character. Um, he's a man, obviously. And, uh, yeah. Bobcat. So if you guys are interested in that, check it out. Um, I think it's really, I think it's really cool that he did something like this and he's been really pretty successful at it. Um, I went with him to Comic-Con this year. He had a booth at Comic-Con here in Tulsa. So yeah, he's gone all over the country and done stuff. So yes, let me know if, you know, that's, if you like this and you know, next time I get I think I have some more of the cards and a couple of other different posters that I could show you if that's something you're interested. And um, let me know if you have other ideas on what you like to use, you know, templates and things like that for. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye.